Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another performance review and today we take a look at the Puma Clyde Core Disrupt. Ah, why do you say disrupt like that? Oh boy, it's disruptive. Yeah? Straight up. He said disrupt. Let's get it. I'm like, stand off. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into this beast of a performer, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and follow us on all our socials across the board because you want to want it to me they will they will i think you'd want to it's in your best interest for you to do so right now safe the client court disrupt is a massive welcome back to basketball by puma for real welcome back welcome back where you been where you been where you been where where you been i've been looking where you been you're here now though I see you. Where you been? So Puma took the summer by storm, pun intended fully, because obviously sun and yeah. like sun and I hear storms, you, I hear you, bro. But this is rain and like... I hear you, bro. Tornadoes, isn't it? I hear you, bro. You nice with it. I'm trying. I'm right. <laughs> Anyway, took the summer by storm by announcing Jay-Z as their creative director for basketball. Who are you? Is that, is that how you're moving? That's First how you're off, moving. That's how they started. That's and what then, they did. They drafted the big man. And then they make it even worse and sign guys like MPJ, okay. Boogie Cousins, okay. and Terry Rozier. That's how you're moving. Are you dumb? But then they announced this. This? The Clyde Court Disrupt, a reincarnation of the Clyde shoe, the original Clyde shoe back in the, like, I think the 70s or something like that. Yeah, way back. For basketball performance only, and now they're here. So how do they perform? They're about to find out. So as per usual, starting out of our favourite part of the shoe, the cushioning. <laughs> what do you say like that? <laughs> <laughs> now in the Clyde Court Disrupt, the cushion is actually made up of two different types. Two different types, Timmy. Two different types. What are they, Timmy? So the first one is Energy Beads. Mm -hmm. The second one is Ignite. Okay, so what does Energy Beads give me, Timmy? Now the Energy Beads gives you the cushion in itself. Okay. Makes it soft, makes it really nice under the foot. Right, and then Ignite? Okay, that's where it gets dope. Okay. Ignite gives you that responsiveness talk and it gives me. you the energy right back. Talk to me. You hear me? Okay. You talk to them. Bro, it was amazing. The combination of both cushioning systems in one yeah. was fantastic. The only thing that I would say that I guess I would have liked more of is a bit more court feel. Okay, I hear that. That's only because I'm a god and I like to feel Nah, I feel the same way. But apart from that, the cushioning was buff. Nah, I hear that for S sure. So buff. Hit that. Shoot that bitch. <laughs> and yes, it's full length. And the thing that's amazing about it, the most, I think, is that it doesn't matter which position you play. K is for everyone. There you go. It's got you. So straight off the bat, the cushioning comes in and strong 8 out of 10. Easy. Easy. Puma, welcome back. Where you been? Where you been? So next up, moving on to materials. Now, the whole upper is made up of an engineered knit material, along with some leather, which pays homage to OG materials. So obviously that 20 years is still there. This is how it goes. And of course, some plastic which actually holds up and makes up the heel counter as well. Now, how did they feel? Talk to them. I like it, T. I like it. I love the fact that they added a small touch. Even though it was a cheeky touch, a cheeky touch. I enjoy the touch, like the touch of the leather in the heel because obviously it pays back to the OG Clyde Disrupt which is I'm absolutely good. amazing yeah, right. and obviously we have the engineered knit as well which felt exactly how you want knit to feel it was flexible and it was supportive at the same time so the materials were A1 see for me I think it's cheeky but I love the way they've done the logo with like more knit yeah because what it does performance wise yeah it holds you in they've done it cheeky you think I didn't clock you think I didn't see you I see what you did there but with more knit means it's going to hold the foot in much nicer in that lateral support which also means i mean the knit itself low-key minimal breaking time oh minimal 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 close to zero a couple seconds only easy that's it so with that being said it's an eight another one it's an eight welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back i know you like that <laughs> Talking about the materials only makes sense now to move on to the fit of the shoe and the fit of the shoe was buff. The fit is absolutely amazing. 
It all starts from this engineered collar, which makes it really, really easy to get your foot into the shoe. And then once your foot is inside the shoe, the way the shoe laces up, the way the lacing system is constructed, along with that internal sleeve, it means your foot is locked down and you are ready to go. Right. And that is exactly what we want out of a basketball sneaker. So thank you, Puma, for providing that for us. Appreciate Much it. appreciated. Now, I would say that this shoe caters more for people with wider feet because it was amazing for me. So if you have narrow feet, I'd probably recommend you go down half the size. You had the space, I agree. Yeah, I had the space. I have what you call a regular slash wide foot. Timmy, with his long ass feet, has what you call a regular slash narrow foot. <laughs> so for me, the shoe was fine, but for my boy over there, down half the size would have yeah. been much better for him. Yeah. Big so big that is what I would definitely recommend. Would you recommend the same to me? I would recommend the same. You recommend the same. Down half the size if you're narrow, Normal size if you're wide. Normal size. Like, wide is normal. You mad, bro? You must be mad. Bro, you're mad. <laughs> you're mad. With all of that being said, the fit was peng. Comes in at another 8 out of 10. Another 8 another one. out of 10. So next on the list is support. Now, we've seen the usual suspects, we've seen them on most basketball shoes. We do have the outrigger shape, external heel counter in this bad boy, which isn't actually a re usual suspect, but yeah. an external heel counter. We've also got a really, really dope lacing system. Amazing lacing It's system. different looking, Yeah, does the trick. We like it. We like it a lot. Does the absolute trick. I mean, there's the usual suspects, yep. but how did you feel in them? I wasn't too happy, oh. all right? And the reason I wasn't too happy to me Talk to is I feel like the support system in this shoe is incomplete. Ooh, you good? You just trip. All right, and the reason I why I, I say this, this, the reason why I'm saying this is because this collar is very spacey. There's a lot of space. Mm. Well, this collar makes it easy for your foot to slip in. Great. However, it's not very supportive. And the reason why I think they've done this is because this shoe, I believe, is made to be worn with an ankle brace. Yep. I'm a regular baller. I ball in regular socks. Regular. I ain't got no ankle brace. So my ankle was... Regular. You know what I mean? My ankle was doing this, when it should be doing this. But my ankle was doing this. Why is my ankle doing this? It shouldn't be doing that. It should be doing this. Not this. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going straight. I want this. I don't want this. You with me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was right, so hard to keep up. <laughs> so all of that being said, the support in this shoe comes in at a 6 out of 10. We don't think the support is terrible. Not the bad. support is not terrible. Lockdown is there. External heel counter is there. Outrigger does its job. Everything does its job. I just feel like the ankle support section area is incomplete because they want us to get ankle brace, which I can't afford. So... It's low-key a low-top. Low key. It's low a, key. Oh, it's a low top. It's a low top. For it's sure. a low top. It's a low top for they sure. didn't want. They didn't want to say it or just yeah. make it a low top, which is odd. So last and maybe a little least. Maybe, maybe just a little bit. The traction. Now here on a Clyde called Disrupt, it's basically the OG Clyde outsole as well. For real. Which we like here. We love it here. We love it here. We love paying homage to all the sneakers. Bit, throw it back. It's part of your return, which is great. So really, really nice. Great job, Puma. How? Ever. It didn't do the trick. It's sad to say Agreed. it didn't do the job it was supposed to do. I'm only talking about dusty courts because clean courts, it doesn't really matter doesn't what matter. shoe clean you play in because be clean courts you're going to be clean fine. Courts is cheating. This shoe required wiping literally every time I transitioned from defense to offense. So one up and down, I had to wipe. Damn. Up and down, wipe. Nah, that's a whole lot of wiping, bro. That's a whole lot of wiping. There's not a lot of time to do that's that. That's a whole lot of wiping. You're missing plays. You're falling asleep on defense. I'm falling asleep on defense. I'm thinking about wiping too much. Hair back cuts. Do you know what I mean? Hella back cuts. <laughs> Hella back cuts. Hella I'm getting back subbed back. out. Yes, because yes. looking at me. It's I'm still wiping, though. <laughs> I'm still wiping. <laughs> because my coach, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because my coach asked you, why are you wiping me? Like, it's too much, man. It's too much. We, don't, we can't have that, you unfortunately. Can't have that. We can't have that. So. We love the fact that they paid homage to old school sneakers. And don't get me wrong, when the traction is clean, yep. you are good. However, this is dustcollection.com. If you require a dust collector, this is the shoe you need to get. Because there will be no dust on your carpet if you buy these, I promise you. 
you are calm. So calm. <laughs> are you selling However, it if you're trying to hoop in these... <laughs> it's not a vacuum. <laughs> on a dusty, dusty court, you might, you might experience some struggles, do you know what I mean? The way I did. With all that being said though, the traction isn't bad. It's not a bad traction pattern. It's just that it clocks, it clocks? It clocks a lot of dust. A lot of dust. With all that being said, taking the dust collection into consideration, yeah. the traction still comes out at a six out of 10 because it was still amazing on clean courts. However, dusty courts. Which is what most of us play on. So that's more accurate performance review. It's gonna have to be a six. Yeah, and it hurts us to say this because we actually love this shoot. Yeah, it does bang. Severely. Now with all of that being said, looking at all the scores of the Puma Clyde Court Disrupt, the shoe comes out at a 7.2 out of 10. Welcome back to the game. Welcome back to the game. Welcome back to the above game. Above average, a strong above average court. What I love about this year is that Puma coming back into the game with a strong shoe. Strong shoe. Letting everybody know we're not here to play. What's worse is that they did talk a lot. They spoke a lot, bro. They talked it up properly. Proper, do you know what I mean? And if this is their intro to the game, I'm scared. I'm scared for y'all. So, right, guys, there you have it. That is the Clyde called Disrupt. As per usual, make sure you like this video. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions if you've already tried them out or if you're planning to get a pair for yourself. And, of course, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a thing when it comes to pure kicks. Now, we just mentioned it, it's it's the holiday season, it's giveaway season. I mean, we do performance reviews, we do comparisons, we do vlogs. You just might as well hit the button so you never miss a trick because you never want to get left out in the cold. No. Because it's cold. Bars. Anyway, and of course, follow us on our social, which is This Is Pure Kicks across the board. That's Facebook, that's Instagram, that's Twitter. Follow us on there for all of our other shenanigans because it just makes sense yeah so all right guys that's it from us this is the puma clyde called disrupt we're pure kicks let's get it it's very adaptive for pure kicks puma clyde